This is the key to Funakoshi's 17th precept, understanding the fundamentals and then being able to apply them naturally and intuitively. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Welcome to another video in our series on Gichin Funakoshi's guidelines for karate and life. Today, we're diving into the 17th precept. Formal stances are for beginners, later one stands naturally. This powerful quote serves as a reminder that as we progress in our training and in life, it's important to move beyond the formalities and strive for a more natural and intuitive approach. Let's start with karate. As beginners, we learn the formal stances such as the natural stance, uh, Zankutsu Dachi, uh, Naihanshi Dachi. These stances are crucial for developing the necessary balance and coordination to perform the various techniques. But as we become more experienced, Funakoshi encourages us to let go of the formalities and to use these stances in a more natural and intuitive way. Instead of thinking about the specific steps and mechanics of each stance, we should focus on the principles of karate and allow our bodies to move freely and effectively. I remember when I first started karate, I would often get caught up in the formalities of each stance and it would hinder my movement. But as I progressed in my training, I started to focus more on the principles and my movements became more fluid and natural. I was able to adapt to different situations and my karate improved as a result. It was a process of unlearning the formalities and finding my own unique way of moving. A parable that illustrates the point of moving beyond formalities is the story of the bamboo tree. It goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a young bamboo tree that was struggling to grow. It would put all its energy into growing taller and taller, but it never seemed to get any taller. One day, an old and wise bamboo tree saw the young tree struggling and asked, why are you putting all your energy into growing taller? You should be putting your energy into growing deeper roots. The young bamboo tree took the old bamboo tree's advice and began to focus on growing deeper roots. And as it did, it began to grow taller and stronger. It was able to withstand the storms and the winds and it became a tall and majestic bamboo tree. This parable illustrates the importance of understanding the fundamentals and putting in the work to build a strong foundation. Just like the young bamboo tree, we too can get caught up into trying to achieve a certain goal or look a certain way without focusing on the fundamentals that will help us grow stronger and more resilient. By focusing on growing deeper roots, we too can reach our full potential. In the context of karate, this parable can be seen as an analogy for the importance of mastering the formal stances and understanding the principles before moving on to more advanced techniques. It's about building a strong foundation so that when the time comes to take on more challenging techniques, will be prepared and able to handle them with ease, just like the mature bamboo tree stands tall and majestic. But it's not just in karate where this principle applies. In our professional and personal lives, we often start out by following rules and procedures, but as we gain experience, it's important to develop a more natural and intuitive way of thinking and decision making. Let me give you an example. When I first started working in the corporate world, I was very rigid in my approach. I would strictly follow the rules and procedures. But it was only when I let go of the formalities and trusted my instincts that I found success. I was able to come up with more creative solutions and was able to navigate the corporate world with more ease. This is the key to Funakoshi's 17th precept, understanding the fundamentals and then being able to apply them naturally and intuitively. Here's a call to action for you. Next time you find yourself getting caught up in the formalities of something, whether it's in karate or in your everyday life, take a step back and think about how you can make it your own. Trust your instincts and don't be afraid to break the mold. But in all seriousness, it's important to remember that this process of unlearning the formalities and finding your own unique way is not easy. It takes time and practice. It's a journey that requires patience and perseverance. The key is to be aware of the formalities and to make a conscious effort to move beyond them. One way to do this is to practice mindfulness. Instead of getting caught up in the formalities, take a step back and be present in the moment. Notice how your body is moving and how you are thinking. This will help you understand the principles and to apply them naturally and intuitively. Another way to move beyond the formalities is to seek out different perspectives. Talk to people who have been practicing karate for a long time and ask them about their experiences. Learn from their successes and their failures. This will help you understand the principles and to apply them in your own unique way. In conclusion, Gichin Funakoshi's 17th precept 
formal stances are for beginners, later one stands more naturally, serves as a reminder that as we progress in our training and in life, it's important to move beyond the formalities and strive for a more natural and intuitive approach. It's about understanding the fundamentals and being able to apply them naturally and intuitively. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos in this series. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day. And as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris doesn't need formal stances. He just roundhouse kicks reality into submission.